Happy e-learning day, everybody. I'm gonna to try to keep this short. Couple reminders, you need to do the attendance quiz and you need to turn in some homework. That's how I'm taking attendance so I can make sure I count you as being here on the e-learning day. Okay, so last night you should have read chapter nine and the schwa was here. Let's go over the questions and then you can get started on your work for today. Number one, describe Lexi at this point in the story. At this point in the story, Lexi is very strong-willed, she is confident, she is independent, she may have a disability because you know she's blind, but she is not going to let that hinder her from doing the things that she wants to do. Nobody's going to keep her down. Uh, number two, what does latent mean? Latent means, especially how it's used here, it actually gave me hope that maybe I had latent super intelligence that was activated by girls. Well, it's not going to be activated by girls. But the latent superintendence basically just means that it is like asleep. It's dormant. It hasn't come out yet. Uh, but now uh, the superintelligence is showing up because a girl is around for antsy. That's what he's prognosticating. That's what he is saying there. Uh, what's the illusion on page 74? He alludes to the Incredible Hulk. And with as many of you who like Marvel, you should know who the Incredible Hulk is. He's a giant green guy who likes to smash things. Number four, what does osmosis mean? Osmosis means that you soak things in through your skin. Uh, it's not something that actually happens with many things. You do soak in like moisture through your skin, uh, but you don't actually soak up like intelligence through your skin. Otherwise, you'd be able to take a book and like smash it to your face, and then you just know what was in the book. That's, that's not really how it works. Now, number five, why does ANSI talk badly about the schwa on page 102, or PDF page 79? Uh, well, here's the thing. Uh, ANSI is acting a bit jealous. He feels like he has now this relationship with Lexi that he's afraid of losing, and he sees the schwa as competition. And so in order to make sure that his competition doesn't get what ANSI wants, he's gonna make the competition look as bad as possible. So he badmouths the schwa to Lexi in order to try to get Lexi to think the schwa is less than desirable. He's acting like a jealous boyfriend. Number six, what is the conflict between ANSI and the schwa? On page 73, the schwa feels like for the first time, Lexi sees him, even though she's blind and she can't really see, but she senses him and she treats him like he is there and she treats him kindly and things like that. And because of the way she treats him, he wants to make her his girlfriend, right? And so now there's the, this love triangle going on and we are in the heart of one of the major conflicts of this novel. The schwa likes Lexi. Ansi likes Lexi. Lexi likes, well, we're not quite sure. If you pay attention to the clues dropped in this chapter specifically, you might be able to figure out who Lexi really likes. Uh, number seven, why does Ansi cry? Well, when they're at the concert, Lexi and Ansi, Lexi says, why don't you be the dog walker and then uh, Calvin can take over your job, what your job is now. And that's a clue. She sees Ansi and what he's doing as a job. Uh, and so Ansi takes that to mean that she doesn't want to spend time with him anymore. He feels rejected and maybe that has hurt his feelings a little bit, and so he cries at the concert. Uh, what does Ansi's job change to? Well, he goes from being uh, the escort for Lexi to being the dog walker that the schwa was. So he has to go back to walking dogs, uh, and he'd much rather spend time with Lexi. Uh, what is Italian gelato? That is question number nine. Uh, it is like, uh, it's kind of like an ice cream. It's way less creamy than ice cream. Uh, sometimes you, it, it's almost like Italian ice. What's eggplant parmesan? Uh, so basically it's instead of having chicken covered in parmesan and cheese and sauce and all that stuff, you have eggplant, which is covered in marinara sauce with parmesan cheese and a whole bunch of other Italian herbs and spices. It's pretty good if you like eggplant. If you don't like eggplant, you're not gonna like it. So it's an Italian dish. All right, that takes care of that. Hey. Take your attendance quiz, turn in your homework, read, answer your questions, and start working on your rough draft. If you have questions for me, 
message me through Canvas. Hopefully you have an awesome day at home. Home is great.